Kirk with Armstrong Sales Coaching. Welcome to today's video sales tip. Uh, as 2019 quickly approaches, of course, we should all have goals. If we don't have goals, boy, we're in trouble. We're really not paying attention to what's important to us. Hard to chase something if you don't really know what you're chasing. It, I have a sign up here that I love to show. It says, not having goals is like bowling through a curtain. If you think about it, if you were to play that silly game, you can't really tell what you hit. You hit something down, don't know what you hit, not sure what to aim at next. So if you're gonna have goals this year, we wanna give you a very quick template so that we can decide, is this a good set of goals or is there something missing? So if you look at this other chart right here, we talk about SMART goals. SMART goals has been around a long time. It's just a template to help you understand what your goals are in a step-by-step -step fashion. So if we quickly go through that, S stands for specific. If we don't know exactly what we want and what we're chasing, very difficult to go after it. You must know exactly what you're going after. In terms of measurable, they sh you should be able to track it. Clearly, if you can't measure it, how are you gonna manage that situation? If you, if you don't have exact timely uh, milestones along the way of what you're supposed to hit maybe in January or February or even March, then chances are by the end of the year you're way off track. So they've got to be measurable so you can make adjustments as you go. Be able to be, you can't say like I want to be happier. Well what does that mean? We, we should be able to track it. So then you look at A. A stands for attainable. Attainable. A lot of times we pick goals like I'm going to double my business. Well that might be fine for some. But I would always be asking, well, how are you going to do that? Okay, it might be uh, uh, something that you can do, but let's figure out exactly how we're going to do it and is it attainable within the time frame that you have decided. Uh, you've got relevant, but I like the other R, rewarding. If we don't reward the psyche uh, inside ourselves, oftentimes we don't want to chase the object. Right? We've got to have a reward. I reward myself when I even work out for a week. Uh, you give yourself little rewards so that you, your brain uh, decides, I want to do this. This isn't something I'm fighting any longer. It's a little tricky to find the right thing that's going to motivate you, but rewarding yourself is really important. And then, of course, the last thing is simply timely. All right? We have to have this be time-bound. I wouldn't recommend just accomplish this by December 31st, 2019. You also might want to have milestones, as mentioned before, uh, at the end of every month or the end of every quarter. If we're, if we're not going to have some time-bound activity, uh, then what's going to happen is, you know, you're just kind of wishing that it happens and you're really not paying attention to the deadlines. So that, that SMART template is just that. It's just a template to help you make your goals become step by step so that you can achieve them. But even if you're doing it on your own, use some form of templating and you should have a lot bigger success with those goals. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate you being here. Happy holidays and we'll see you soon.